everybody, this is Professor Guffey, and this is your video overview for week seven, where we are going to cover all sorts of different business entities. How do you want to set up a business? What's the best one for your particular situation or your client's particular situation, as the case may be? This can get very complicated. Again, my goal in this class is not to turn you into corporate lawyers or into business lawyers. My goal is to give you more knowledge than the average lay person so you at least understand what you don't understand, if that makes sense. So this is a huge week. There's a lot. If you look at the syllabus, it looks like you're just reading, 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 reading. Keep in mind on some of these chapters, it's very few pages, okay? Don't, don't panic on me. And the reason this is such a big week is so that week eight doesn't have to just be horrible. You'll have enough going on next week with the final exam. I didn't want a whole lot else happening. So what to expect in week seven here? You are going to be covering chapters that deal with very simple business entities. Sole proprietorships are mentioned kind of in passing. There's not a whole lot there. You'll be talking about uh, partnerships, how they're formed, uh, how they operate, how they dissolve, how they wind up. We'll look at limited liability companies, limited partnerships, limited liability uh, corporations even are covered. Those are a really important business entity form. So, and they're really popular right now. So, um, Slow down, take some time there. And then we're going to get into corporations themselves. Corporations have some humongous advantages, which is why they're so popular, but they have some disadvantages as well. So in there, we'll be looking at how corporations are organized and financially structured. We're also going to be looking at how they're managed. That's going to include some work on the responsibilities corporate directors and corporate officers have. And that will come into an assignment that you're going to be doing this week. You have your usual study guide. Um, although I did group it a little bit differently, I, instead of doing it chapter by chapter by chapter, because there's so much here, I simply did it as corporations and I did the other section as all other business entities. Go through, answer those questions the way that you've been doing, and you'll be fine for the final exam that's coming up. You have a discussion board, which is going to deal with some partnership issues. People sometimes form companies without really thinking about what they're doing and the implications that it's going to have. And in the case of this particular discussion board I'm having you do, you're looking at a really successful company. You're looking at a cosmetic company called Urban Decay, which some of you have probably heard of. Some of you probably don't pay a whole lot of attention to various cosmetic companies, but it's a very successful company. And it formed in, I want to say it formed in a strange way, but it didn't really. It formed organically, which is how most corporations, most business entities, most partnerships, come into being, but there's some questions there for you. You also have an assignment on corporate responsibility where I'm asking you to find a couple of cases. I give you a few to get you started. You can't use those in your response, of course, but I, I want you to look into this idea of duty of loyalty and duty of care that corporate directors and corporate officers owe to a corporation and how it can be breached. So that's your uh, corporate responsibility assignment. It's a large part of your grade, actually, so you really want to spend some time on that. And I wanted to go ahead and put that in this week. So again, next week, you can really concentrate just on the final exam. You'll also have your final discussion board next week, but that'll be it. So that's what you have going on this week. It's, like I said, it's a lot, but I, I really don't think it's, it's too much. Approach it in chunks, okay? You don't have to sit down and do everything all at one time. 
do it in bits and pieces. If you have questions, of course, use the Ask the Professor link or just contact me and um, I'll do everything I can to clear up any questions that you have. Have a good week and let me know if you need any assistance. Thanks. Bye-bye.